Combine Confessional Part 2. Good morning, everyone. This is Matt Long with your Easy Agronomy update for Tuesday, October 15th. Two quick announcements before we get into today's topic. First, if you're in the field harvesting, let me know. I'd love to come ride a round or two and help you with your examination of the crop. As a bonus, Jenny has put together some really great gifts for me to deliver to each one of you during harvest. Secondly, if you missed the Easy Agronomy voice memo from Tuesday, October 1st, titled Combine Confessional Part 1, Examination, click pause, go back to your text message from today, and you'll find a link to that message. These two messages and next week's message, Part 3, Reconciliation, are a series, and you'll want to take them in, in chronological order. Now back to today's topic, Confession. A couple quick lessons we learn from confession are confession is a team activity and there are multiple types of sins. First, let's look at confession as a team activity. And what I mean by that is it takes more than you to make confession work. To confess is to confide in or to have confidence in someone other than yourself. Why? Well, let's face it. In your eyes, your doesn't stink. So when you're finished with your examination, gather your team adv of advisors, seed, fertilizer, and herbicide experts, and have confidence in their ability to help you recover next year and sin no more. The second thing you must do to make your confession productive is to bring to light with your team all the sins. So let's quickly look at the different types of sins we may have committed in crop production. I think Donald Rumsfeld's description of Iraqi weapons of mass destruction can be utilized here. Paraphrasing, he said, there are three things we know. There are known knowns, which are the things we know we know. There are known unknowns, which are the things we know we don't know. And there are unknown unknowns, which are the things we don't know that we don't know. The latter category tends to be the most difficult. First, the known knowns. These are things that we know we push the envelope on. Look to the top five factors to producing a top crop and you'll likely find a few of these. Soil conditions at planting time, seed to soil contact, seed quality, planting the right variety in the right field, and post-planting management are the top five factors. Making a big impact on your farm and your yield over time is easy if you adhere to these factors. Second, evaluate the known unknowns. These are the things we know that we didn't do, but we don't know the impact. Most of these will be fertility and crop protection decisions. Commit next year to doing a better job of tracking and evaluating to better understand the cost, both monetarily and yield, of decisions you may have put off or forgone this year. Last are the unknown unknowns. For the most part, this is a realization that none of us know at all. Having this realization will undoubtedly force you to continue to search for and gain new information about growing more corn in the future. There are a wide variety of ways to do this, reading books and articles, attending seminars and trainings, and taking a more hands-on, boots-in-the-field approach to your crop next year. Wrapping it up here, don't forget the critical aspects of each combine confession. First, it's a team activity. Gather your team and work through the most pressing issues once harvest is over, while they are fresh on your mind. And secondly, grow better corn next year by evaluating all of your sins the known knowns, the known unknowns, and the unknown unknowns, those of which tend to be the most difficult. That's all for today. I'm Matt Long, helping you farm differently.